What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at the builder for Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the builder. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, it is Friday here in Vegas. We got a kind of a shorter video today, but it's kind of important. And like I said, we're gonna look at the builder. And in the last video, we looked at using the Kivi design file to sort of break apart our design stuff from our Python stuff. And we're gonna build on that today and look at the builder, which allows us to sort of designate different Kivi design files instead of just the default one. So here's our app that we created in the last video. So I've got a file called builder.py. It's the same exact code from our video last time. I just changed the name of the file. If you missed that video, check the link in the comment section below for the playlist and check that out. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So one thing I didn't mention in the last video, since we're breaking apart our design stuff and sticking it in a Kivi design file, we don't need all of these things that we imported earlier, like the labels, the layouts, the text inputs, and the buttons. So we can just right off the bat get rid of that stuff. We save this and run it. You can see our app looks exactly the same. We didn't have to import, you know, the text inputs or the labels or the buttons. They work because we've just because we've defined them in our my.kv file. So what is the builder? Well, remember in the last video we designated our my.kv file because our main class here was called my app. So we named the kivi file my kv and we took off the app uh, you remember you might remember i mentioned that so if this was called elder right our kivi file would be elder.kv right so whatever your class is called that's what you use that's what you call your your kivi file and kivi knows to find that because it's looking it knows this name so it's looking for a lowercase of that now again i mentioned if we had like elder app it would still be elder cuz we get rid of this app part when we name our Kivi file, right? So that's fine if you've got a basic app, right? You can just do it that way. But more likely than not, you're gonna have a more complicated app than that. And you may have to designate different Kivi design files, right? You may not wanna call it my.kv for whatever reason. How do, we, how do we get around that? Well, we use the builder and that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So to do this, we have to import it. <laughs> like always, we have to import things So from kivi.lang that let's import builder and it's capital B. Now we can just use this and to use it, there's a couple of different ways to use it. I'll show you both ways. The main way is just to go builder dot load underscore file and then just pass in the new name of your file. So let's create a kivi design file called whatever dot kv. Now we don't have that yet, so let's create it. So let's go to our old Kivi design file. I'm just gonna copy all this stuff and let's go ahead and create a new file, paste all that stuff in there, and let's save this as whatever <laughs> .kv, right? So now we need to change the name of this thing just so that we can be sure it's not looking up our old Kivi design file. Right, so instead of my app, let's call this uh, awesome app, right? And then down here, we're gonna have to call obviously awesome app. Okay, so everything else stays the same. Now let's comment this out and try and run this and just to see what happens, right? It's not gonna work, right? So when we do, we get absolutely nothing in our app, right? Still says awesome, right? But there's no design elements in this whatsoever. On the other hand, if we then just call this builder.load file, say, hey, use whatever.kv, and this is the relative path because we save this file in this directory. If you save this somewhere else, you know, you would probably do something like this and uh, something else slash whatever, right? Wherever you put this, you could put the actual path to it, but we're, we put it in the same directory so we could just use a relative path here. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And when we do, we have our complete working app again. And it's just that easy. So notice again, I'll point out, we did not import any of those things 
from the app. No labels, no text inputs, and no buttons. We still imported widget because obviously we're still using widget. And we imported object property because we're setting these variables, right? But other than that, we don't need to do all that stuff. So that's a little bit nicer. Get rid of some of the clutter here up at the top of the screen. But just that easy. So this is the, the first way to do it. Just call this file, right? And this is the way you're probably going to do. There's a second way that is sort of a string loading method that is a little wonky. So I'll show it to you, but I don't really recommend that you use it. I mean, I guess you could. So instead of load file, we want to load string, right? And now we use three quotation marks and then another three quotation marks, right? And now inside of here, you can just paste in your Kivi design file, right? So we could just copy all of this, come up here and just paste it all in, right? So this will work. And you'll notice it's all the same color because we have the three opening and closing quotation marks and, you know, whatever. Bop this over so our indentation is correct here. Save this, run it, and then we get the same exact thing, right? You know, okay, you can do that, but What's the point of doing this if you're going to keep it all in the same file? The point of using a Kivi design file is to abstract your stuff out of this file and keep it somewhere else, right? If you're just going to stick it back in here using this string method, I, you know, I don't see what really what the point of that is. Um, so I'm going to comment all of this out. I'll leave it in here just for, uh, you know, just so we can see it. Uh, but I would recommend using the load file method like this. Save this guy. Let's run this again just to make sure this is working again. And looks like it's working. Okay. And we're good to go. So it's super easy. Just, you know, from Kivi Lang Import Builder, designate your Kivi design file, and you're good to go. And you'll remember, we named this whatever.kv, and our app is called Awesome App. So these two names aren't related in any way, shape or form. So it's not like, you know, uh, Kivi can just find that. And also now in, let's go file save as in our thing here. And you'll see if you go into our directory here, we now have two Kivi design files, my.kv and whatever.kv. So it's not like it's just finding the only one in there. It is specifically finding, you know, this exact file that we designate and that's really kind of nice and very useful as we'll see going forward. So pretty cool. So like I said, it is Friday. What are you guys up to this weekend? My girlfriend bought a car off of Carvana. Have you guys seen this? Carvana.car, it's like a car vending machine website. You just pick your car and they bring it to you. So tomorrow the car is showing up. So we're kind of excited about that. I have no idea what to expect. I mean, who buys a car from a website, site unseen? My girlfriend does. <laughs> so actually it's, it's kind of cool. They give you like seven days to check and see whether you like it or not, and you can send it back. So it should be okay, but uh, very exciting. That's going on tomorrow, so no hiking probably. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. So that's all for this video. If you like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 on memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Konami.com, and I'll see you in the next video.